All right, my friends, welcome back. Now we're gonna go through the app. Starting on the home screen, you'll see we have four menu buttons. Home, feed, my pedal, and profile. Your profile is obviously your profile. Your pedal is obviously your pedal, everything on it. That's how you get songs up and down. The feed is the community, and home is your place where you're gonna get all your notifications and discover some cool stuff. If you're watching this in the future, I'm sure the look of a lot of this has changed dramatically, and if I haven't updated the video yet, I apologize. Here we go. At the very top, you will see a search bar. You can search for users and songs. Then, you will see an active streak, so just like your fitness apps and your fitness devices, we want you to play more, and so we want you to log on and see you know, I haven't, I haven't played or uploaded in a few days. Maybe I should do that, right? The whole idea is, what do I say on my channel? Just keep it in your hands. So I'm trying to make something that helps you, encourages you, motivates, inspires you to pick it up and keep the thing in your hands. So that's the point of this. If you wanted to upload a song today, you'd hit that. It would take you to my pedal. We'll get there and I'll explain all that to you. Down the home screen, we'll have a list of users, right? We'll have a bunch of things for you to check out, like, you know, got not just knee deep here, right? All right, so there's your home screen. Now, you go into your feed. This is everything that's posted publicly to the community. Again, when you upload, and I will show you in the next screens, you will have the option to post public or private. If you don't want to share anything with the world and you just want to share it with your buddy Jim, make it private and text it to Jim. If you want to share it with the world, this is where it will end up. So this is your feed. On your feed, you'll see, just like Instagram, just like Facebook, you'll see all of the songs people have posted. For each song, you'll be able to see which user is on which track and which instrument they're playing. How cool is that? So, you can hit play, listen to the preview. Now the preview, now you can see this is a minute and 47 seconds long. The preview is only gonna be a snippet, okay? It's only gonna be a touch. If you wanna listen to the whole thing, you're not gonna listen to it on your app, you wanna download it to your pedal. Shortcut to do that is right here, bam. That pedal button, anywhere on the app you see, downloads to your pedal, okay? Button next to it is a bookmark. If you bookmark it, that's like, oh, I'm going through, that's cool, I wanna come back to that. I wanna keep a list of the cool things that I find that I wanna download. You'd bookmark it. And then where do the bookmarks show up? You go to your profile, bookmarks, there you go. Back to the feed. This is a share, it's native, so you just, oh, I missed it. You click share, it brings up Every, you know, your basic, whether it's iOS or Android, share links. You can copy the link, text, email, whatever. And then if you want the files, the actual files, the stems that this produced, the uncompressed waves, all you do is you hit that button. You can copy the URL if you want to text it to somebody, or you download the file directly. And then it will give you a compressed file. You uncompress it. Um, like an, it'll give you an archive rather, and then you will get the uncompressed WAV files isolated, track by track, even overdubs. Super rad. Now for each song, you can also hit view details and it brings up the entire song. Now, you'll see this. Song has zero child songs. What is a child song? A child song is if I download this. If I download and then it's on my pedal, and then I add a bass part, maybe I fill up track four, and then I re-upload, that would be a child. So anytime someone has downloaded a song and upload something back to it, you can click on this and it'll give you a list of all the songs that have been created from this. And vice versa is also true. If you downloaded something and re-uploaded, it would show you a list of the parent songs. You can say, ooh, where did this come from? Super rad really lets you show the progress of songs. 
Then, of course, you see some test comments here. You can, you can add a comment. You can reply. If it's your own comment, these three dots will let you edit, delete. Or if someone says something nasty and you're like, wow, I should report that, you can report it. Right? Now, moving on to my pedal. The pedal and the app actually do not talk to each other. They are both Wi-Fi and they talk to the cloud, right? So this is telling the cloud I have, look at it, move my hand, ah, uh, shoot. Uh, come on. Three songs on here, right? The app is has your pedal registered to you and it is reading the cloud and it's saying we have three songs on the pedal. How gnarly is that? If you want to have it newest or oldest, right, you can switch the settings, the default, or you can go into the settings. It'll tell you your pedal serial, whether your firmware is up to date. If it's not, there will be a button there. If you want to change Wi-Fi, that's where you click. You can delete all songs or factory reset your pedal. Now, you'll notice that none of these uploads are clickable. Why? Because every single one of those songs is empty. As soon as I add audio, see how it changed? Right away on the app, it's, it says upload. So now it's playing. If I want to upload that song, up, actually, let me go back. If I want to edit that song before I upload, like give it a title, I go on here, I say new song three, let's make it new song three A, right? And let's say track two, I put other on there. Now notice you can't click track one, three, and four because there's nothing on track one, three, and four. It knows. You can save it, or if you want to scratch it from the pedal, you just hit delete. But save, you'll see the title, the instrument, have updated on the pedal, and now it's on the app. Hit upload. Same thing, you can choose your key, scale, genre, update your instrument, add a description, say, hey Jeff, add bass. And now here's what I said about public and private. Public puts it on the feed. Private doesn't put it anywhere. It just gives it, it gives you a link to share. Yes, you can find all your private songs on your profile, but no one else will be able to see them. So just like Dropbox, or Google Drive, or whatever storage service you use, it is yours. These are your songs to do what you want with. If you want more details, you can read the terms of service right there, but that's it. If you don't want something going to the public, make it private. Simple as that. Hit upload. You'll see it immediately starts uploading on the pedal. I'll bring this over, and you get the idea. It succeeded. It gives you the progress bar, and now when it's finished, right, it takes a second to process here. You'll get a success message and then a screen that you can dismiss, you can view the song, or you can share. So if you want to send this to Jeff, right, you just hit share. And then you pull up your messages or email or whatever, and you say Jeff, and you write whatever. And then if he were to open that, he would be taken to this expanded song screen right here. Okay? And then he could download, he could export the files. And again, it is private, okay? Last area I want to show you is when you're on a list of songs like this, when you're on your profile, this little play bar will come up, right? So it's gonna play stuff that's in a list. All your little shortcuts are still there. You hit details to expand, X to close. Now, you can do it bookmarks. You can see your followers and following for each user. And the about section. This is your spot to say something about yourself, tell people where you are if you want, and provide links if you want. You can also edit your profile, which will allow you to change your password, your email, your name that people see displayed, picture, and banner. Lastly, if you go to the gear icon up here, you can share your profile. You can purchase a pedal. You can send a link to Jeff because Jeff actually doesn't have a pedal, but you're like, Jeff, you need a pedal because I need that bass part, right? And this is important, your support docs. Under support and documentation, it will take you to all of our 
frequently asked questions, our guide, everything in there. If there's something you don't see, please ask us, which reminds me, please go to the Discord, okay? Check your emails, your onboarding emails. I'll probably add a link to this. Um, in the Discord, there will be a support area, a bug reporting area. There will be many opportunities for you to find the answers that you're looking for. And of course, you can always just email me directly and the team at support at guitargate.com. That, my friends, is your teleport app.